going, we're going, that'd be fine. A little bit of, maybe whiplash there, I'm still good, still fine, still fine, still fine. Okay, there, I might have bruised a rib, but we're still good. Oh, a little bit bumpy there. Uh huh, yeah. I'm getting a little bit dizzy here. Yeah. And then that was pretty soft landing. We're good. You're good. We're good. The G forces are pretty crazy there. And then, yep. Yeah. Uh huh. And then cool us down. I think I would have survived. I think I'd be fine. What is going on guys? We're back with another beam ng video today. I got lots of I was overwhelmed with the amount of comments I got saying to do more beam ng content, which I am so thankful for because I had a damn good time playing that game. I went through and I downloaded wait, how do I do it again? Mods, 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 mods. Like I was saying, I felt like Skater XL. There's a, a mod repository where there's all sorts of cars and tracks and roads and third party stuff you can download. So I went through and I downloaded some stuff, including this oh so beautiful launch ramp. Now obviously the uh, the go-to thing to do here is just to absolutely send it off the edge. Um, and then we are playing a game called, Will You Survive? And the answer is yes, 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 yes. No, <laughs> that, that, that's all I had planned for this video. Um, here, let's get a, let's get more of an off-road vehicle here. Thinking we go with the Jeep. We'll get the crawler here. I mean, let's just go. I got download a bunch. Of, oh no, that's not good. I was gonna say I downloaded a bunch of other maps too. Oh, that is so unfortunate. There we go. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Down the hill. Okay, I've accepted we died. Back to the top. I wonder if I can get down. Come on. Come on, you're good. Stop turning it. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're good. Stop. Look, just like that. We found a nice little... Oh, we're good. I wanted to find some jumps, find some courses, find some tracks, try some different cars. I essentially just play BeamNG because it is a great game and I want to destroy things. I wonder if this will take us... God damn it. Floor it. Stop the e-brake. Gas. Something. Stop. We're fine. Because we can't do the top comment on these beam videos or the driving videos because there's no TV behind me. Uh, let me know what other games you want me to try out in the comments. Either games or what you want me to do in beam NG. Because beam's a very, very, very... Let's give it some gas here. Beam's a very customizable... Beam is a very customizable game. You can essentially do whatever. You can spawn in other cars. You can spawn in props. You can spawn in whatever. So if you guys have an idea or something you want me to do, something you want me to test in BeamNG, hi Milo. Come here. He's not he's not listening. Let me know in the comments what you want to see, essentially. That's that's what I'm going for here, because the possibilities are endless and this is very fun. Let's go in first person. Oh, can you imagine how sketch that is? You look to your left, you look down. Oh you just see that. Just keep driving, just keep driving, dun 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 dun. Just keep driving, just keep driving, dun 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 it fuck. That's not good. Here we go. Yep. There. Oh, we made it to the water already? Good, we're fine. I do want to see what this looks like in first person, though. Go! For it! Maximum speed! Oh my god! Never been in a car accident like that, but I would say that's pretty accurate. Holy shit. It was all, it's oddly peaceful for those seconds before you get crushed and pulverized into absolutely nothing at all. Oh look, we're on fire now. Okay, let's just start over. I downloaded a lot of courses, a lot of tracks, and one of them, I haven't, I haven't tried any of them yet. These, Mammoth Valley, they don't have a thumbnail. But it said that there was snow in there, and I really want to just drive around in the snow. That sounds like a great time for some reason. There's music. Wow. 
Look at this snowy village. How cute, how cute and quaint. It'd be a shame if someone were to flip their car. This is actually pretty sick. The graphics of Beam are very interesting. They remind me of like Fortnite graphics, while at the same time somehow managing to be realistic. Hey, look, a jump. How do I mess up destroying my car? That was the worst destruction I've ever seen. Country roads take me home. Let's just go and see where the see where the wind blows us, huh? Pretty sure I'm breaking the number one rule of driving in the snow, and it's don't speed. <laughs> Oh, I'm going 130. I'm done. I wonder if it, uh... Ooh, we're fine. I wonder if it makes the roads... Milo, where are you? Are you in the closet again? Come here. Yeah, hi. Hi. Can you see him in the camera? I was gonna say, I wonder if the ice or the snow on the road makes a, a difference, but I don't think it does. Yeah, it feels like the same old... Feels like the same old road. Ooh, up here looks intimidating though. Going up on into the mountains. Mm -hmm. This is where things can start to get fun. So I figured this out. You can go into your cars and there's not just cars. You can spawn in essentially anything. For example, a piano, a spawn new piano. There is now a piano. The only issue with this is that I don't know how to move said piano. Cause I know people can like put stuff places and make them move and do stuff. I don't know how to do that. So if you know, Please tell me in the comments. I think you see where I'm going with this. We now have a piano and now I'm in my car. It can only lead to one thing. See? Wasn't that good? <laughs> Great game! The reason I'm telling you guys this feature is because you can do stuff like this. We'll put one car right there. Go into our cars here. Uh, go into the bus. You know, let's get a Ram bus. Spawn new. What could possibly go wrong with this? <laughs> Milo, are you nibbling on my fingers while I'm driving a plow bus? Oh, there you are. Now you want to come and say hi, yeah? Yeah? Oh, I'm crashing, Milo! One like equals one pet for Milo. Hear that, buddy? Your happiness is in their hands. Just like a big old bus with a big old plow on the end of it. Now, the hard part of turning this bad boy around. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, am I gonna get stuck? Oh my god. Are you serious? Oh, let's do something. Yeah, look at those thrusters engaging. Yep, fine. You're good. We're all doomed anyway. And we're good. I'm assuming <laughs> that you can see where this is going. We have the bus. We have the car. <laughs> we have the piano. It's your time to shine, buddy. You ready? What's my slow-mo button again? That. We need that. Fuck it. Yep, 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 slow-mo. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. I think I broke something. This game honestly lets me get out like so much tension. If I ever get mad, just plow into a car with a battle bus or whatever, <laughs> whatever it's called. We'll do one more for good measures. We'll put this guy sideways, something like that. Let's go in first person. I really want to see the action here. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that something in the road? Nah, you're good. Just keep going. Yep. You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> oh my god, we actually are kind of still good. What do we look Oh, we are not good. We are very far from good just a scratch continuing back to our will you survive challenge uh this is called crash hard sounds like my type of map like i said i haven't i haven't tried any of these out yet so i don't know if they're gonna be cool or not anything's cool if you can take your car off a cliff oh look a cliff it's cool the first thing to do at any new map is to drive straight and see what happens There's a rock there. You know, just like real life, if you're not familiar with your surroundings, it's always good to uh, drive slow. You know, keep your eyes on the road. You never know what hazards could be ahead. A little bumpy here. Oh! 
slightly more <laughs> slightly more than a bump. God damn. Car still drives though. Fine. Oh, you know, I think our clutch might be a little messed up. Yeah, it's going downhill. Yeah, buddy, I agree. Now that we know what treacherous tre is that a word? Treacherous? Tre what what tremors? Now that we know what's ahead of us, we can try a different car. Let's go with let's go with the classic. Straight out of grandpa's garage. Yeah, buddy, I agree. Oh, we could be a we could be a police officer. Let's be an old school cop. Wild West. I think I have a button for my siren. Hey, look at that! I'ma get you, boy. You ain't stand a chance now. You hear me, sonny boy? I'm coming for you. Yes, sir. You ain't stand no chance. Oh, what's that ahead of us? A little ramp? Yeah, we'll be fine. That's right. You're going to jail, boy. Just like I said, motherfucker, you're going to jail. I did not. I was so prepared for my car to explode. I actually landed it. Can I, like, set up police chases? Like, is it possible to put a car in front of me that, like, follows a path? Or something like that, because I know there's a way to have other moving cars, now to have like forced head-on collisions. I don't know how to actually do it, so I need you guys' help with that. We did survive as a as a cop, so now it's time for a new car. I feel like anything fast, and we're just we're done. Let's go with the old reliable. This thing's pretty fast. Slapper in first person. Just say no more. Oh, we're losing traction. Okay, we're going about 140. Yeah, we're we're dead. I don't think we survived that one, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, that backfire sounds so gnarly. Should probably shift soon. See what really happened here. You! No! Oh my god! Oh, we're gonna die! Oh. We would have survived. That was a survive. All jokes aside, I really do feel like I'm like 13 or 14 again, playing with Hot Wheel cars. Like this is great. This is very rejuvenating. I needed this in my life. I think we just gotta find the right speed. Cause if we find the right speed, maybe we can actually take it. Oh wait, let's take a left here. Downshift, is there a bridge? Oh yes. There we go. Mm -hmm. It's pretty slick here. Slight uh, pothole, but take it slow. We're good. And then, oh, there seems to be a blockade. We would have survived. Airbags went off. All right, we gotta go around this. Yep. Ah, uh, there's another one. Oh, baby. We're dead. Into the water. Yep. That's that's a death. That is a fatality right there. What about... Dude, time goes by so fast when I'm playing this game. I've been filming for almost 35 minutes already. Um, how about... We can take Grandpa's muscle car out again. This thing was fun to drive. It's a manual. The goal here is to stay alive, okay? We've been crashing a lot here. That is the point of the game. But I want to see where this course takes us. Oh, might have bottomed out there, but we're fine. Is that a drop? No, we're good. We really need the city to come out and move these crates. They're a great inconvenience to us out here. Going 100 now. Probably. Oof. Nope. We hit a pothole. Damn. That's pretty realistic. Oh, I'm so sorry, Grandpa. I promise I'll buy you a new car from my grave because I probably would have died. I would have drowned. Seatbelt got stuck. I drowned. Ew. Why I gotta get stuck like that? Okay, Garrett, let's do let's do one more one more course here. I want a good one. Um, American Road. Oh, this could be cool. This is like an American Road. I like the highway maps because there's trees that you can just wrap your car around. It's kind of fucked up to say, isn't it? <laughs> Importing Colada Tree Oak Large. That's the first tree I'ma hit. Oh yeah, see this. This is perfect. This is the kind of map I like. Open wilderness, open highway. We can drive to our heart's content here. Let's just see what kind of speeds we can reach. Gotta stay in our lane though, that's the number one rule of the freeway out here. Yeah, I guess let's just see how long I can go before 
people are crashing. If the road's like this, we'll be chilling for a while. The force feedback is so cool on this wheel. Like you're hitting bumps and it's jiggling just like it would. Oh, 168. I think this car is maxed out. We're not gaining any speed now. We've been surviving for too long. I think drastic times call for drastic measures. No. <laughs> oh my God. 0% chance of survival. Oh. Why is that a thing? How come whenever I'm in slow motion, you just want to make slow motion sounds? Like that's something that doesn't die with, with age. I did it as a kid, I'm still doing it. Oh, that's a beautiful cinematic view. Look at that. And then... Could be worse, honestly. Front and left axle broken. Yeah, I could, I could see that. Sounds like the engine's still running though. We still have power, that's a start. And then let's look, look around in here. We have a bush. <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the G-Force alone would have killed you, but like looking at the interior of our car, you know, if you were immune to G-Force, you could have survived. I think I've said last one like three times, but then I started driving again and I can't stop. I had to. I don't know why. My, my impulses just did it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for participating in today's game of Will We Survive? I'm pretty sure we all died. If you guys enjoy the BeamNG content or the content in general, drop a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. And like I said, one thumbs up equals one. What did I say? Oh yeah, one thumbs up equals one pet for my life. You hear that, buddy? I really look forward to reading the comments on this video because I know there's a lot of really cool stuff I can do with like automation in the game, like setting up other cars and doing chases and stuff. So I want your help with that. That being said, subscribe if you enjoy the content. And uh, this one's for you guys. All right, bye. That's not good. Peace out. Can't stop till I got a quarter million on the wrist.